I'm Chris Davenport. I'm a professional skier, ski guide, adventurer. Spend my life really traveling around the world, taking people on cool adventures, but I live right here in Snowmass, Colorado with my family. We have about 300 sunny days a year. Uh, when we do have storms, they can be pretty intense, and, and because of that, we've got great skiing, great snow. But in general, it's fairly nice weather, so I also love other outdoor sports, cycling, climbing, running, you name it. The weather here affords us a lot of opportunity to be outside. The Aspen Snowmass area is sort of magnetic. And out of college, I moved here wanting to ski, and I was able to develop a career as a professional skier, and it's, it's been a 25-year adventure. Myself and two of my ski partners were the first people to ski the 100 highest mountains in Colorado. We call those the Centennial Peaks, and it's 100 mountains over 13,800 feet. Um, and to do that, we had to access all of these really remote areas because these mountains do not lie right next to highways or right above towns. So you really actually have to go out and, and kind of find them. And because of that, I've seen a lot of Colorado that other people haven't seen. So I met my wife here in Aspen and she's a ski patroller so she keeps people safe on the mountain for a living. Uh, we met skiing and we fell in love because we both love skiing. We've been married over 20 years now which is awesome and we have three boys, all of them who ski. Uh, but the thing that she and I really share is our passion for the outdoors. We love being in the mountains together and we've really enjoyed bringing our kids up to be smart and safe uh, backcountry enthusiasts. I think that the biggest accomplishment I've had is that I've been able to raise a family and continue to do all the things that I do, to continue to travel 150 or 200 days a year all over the world. Um, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I'm still sitting here because a lot of my friends aren't anymore, you know, they're gone. And what I do is pretty dangerous. I'm a professional risk manager. I'm out there looking at risk every single day and figuring out how I can stay alive. So I'm proud of the fact that I've done that and I'm still a father and a husband. And it's very, very important to me that I continue to do that. My big goal is to try to make it to 80 or 90 years old, you know, where kind of life is behind me and I'm just coasting and having a good time with my grandkids or whatever. And I'm like, I won, I did it. People will ask me, Chris, you know, what did it take to become a pro skier? Well, of course, hard work, commitment, thousands and thousands of hours of training, but I didn't really choose this career. It sort of chose me. You know, I just followed my path. I just followed my passion. I just worked hard at the things that were in front of me. And all of a sudden, I sort of ended up doing what I'm doing. And now, 25, 30 years later, here I am. I think the foundation for anyone in life is you gotta have passion. If you're not passionate about something, you're not gonna have any direction, you're not gonna have motivation, you're not gonna have drive, and you're gonna end up living with status quo. But if you have passion and it motivates you to get out of bed every day and you're fired up, you're gonna live outside the box and it's gonna take you in places you never imagined it would take you. You're gonna do things you never imagined because you're simply following the love of something. And for me, it was skiing in the mountains. You never ever take it for granted. Well, people often ask me, do you have an off season? Do you take a break? And the answer really is no, because I'm either on snow year round, North America, South America, or in those in-between times, I'm training. So I like to think of myself as pretty much a 24 hour athlete. When I'm not out there training, I'm actively recovering. When I'm not eating, I'm digesting. I'm constantly doing something that revolves around being a pro athlete. I like to think of being an athlete as just a mindset. It's the way you think of your life, the way you think of your everyday, the way you think of your health and wellness and well-being, constantly doing things that are gonna make you more fit. I mean, when I go pick up the groceries, I either time myself how, how fast I can get there or I check out how many steps it takes me to get there. I'm just constantly in that mindset of being an athlete. Honestly, I just like getting out there and having fun. Uh, I never like training if I'm not having a good time. I've spent probably a thousand hours, or maybe more of my life in a gym, and it's not always that fun. But you know what? When I'm outside in the mountains, either on my bike or hiking or running or climbing or skiing, I've always got a smile on my face. That's fun. That to me is training. What else is there? It's a tough question. I've been very fortunate in my, my life and my career, and to be totally honest, I've accomplished way more than I ever imagined. But with that said, as any human accomplishes great things, they constantly raise the bar for themselves. And I remember 
four years ago, I guided a climb up Mount Everest and we skied down part of the mountain. And I got back from that trip and people were like, oh my God, you climbed and skied Everest. That's the biggest thing you could ever do. What could be bigger than that? Well, that's not the way we really think about it. It's not doing bigger or better. It's finding things that are challenging and interesting for you and, and really that um, follow your passion. So there's a million other things for me to do out there in the mountains. Um, I was just writing down some ideas for the coming year in a notebook of of projects that I'd like to do, places that I'd like to go. I mean, the world's increasingly small as we, if we look at social media and kind of the interconnectivity of the world, but the mountains aren't like that. They're still huge, and I'm constantly gonna be exploring them.